Hello students, good morning. In today's practical, we are going to study the differentiating chemical test between aldehyde and ketonic group in a given organic sample. First of all, let us understand some theoretical part on it. Organic compounds containing carbon oxygen double bond are categorized as aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid. Now, in aldehyde we can see the carbonyl group is directly linked to one hydrogen on one terminal with the alkyl group or some aryl group on the other terminal. Whereas, in ketone we can see the carbonyl group is attached to either two, two alkyl groups, the alkyl groups may be same or they may be different or one alkyl group and aryl group. And this is the structure of carboxylic acid where we see the carbon oxygen double bond that is carbonyl group is directly linked to one hydroxyl group on one terminal with the alkyl group or hydrogen or some aryl group on the other terminal. Okay, now, before we take up the distinguishing chemical tests of aldehydes and ketones, we must ensure whether our organic sample that is the unknown sample which we have got contains carbonyl group or not. So, for this we take a little quantity of the organic sample. And this is the reagent which we are adding to know whether our organic sample contains carbon oxygen double bond or not. This is known as 2,4 DNP, 2,4 DNP that is dinitrophenyl hydrazine. This is the structure of dinitrophenyl hydrazine. Now, we add a little quantity of DNP. The reagent is also known as Bradis reagent. And after adding, we shake it vigorously. And we are getting a yellow precipitate, and the precipitate becomes pronounced after settling it down for 5 minutes. So, this confirms that our organic sample contains carbonyl group. Now, we are going to proceed for the rest of the chemical test. Okay. So, next we come to Schiff's test to detect whether our sample contains aldehyde group or ketonic group. So, for this I've, I have taken a little quantity of unknown organic sample in a test tube. And to it I am just adding a few drops of Schiff's reagent. Now, see the pink color of the reagent is restored, which shows that the sample may contain aldehyde group. But for this, we have some other tests also. The upcoming tests are Tollens test, Felling's test, by which we are going to confirm our sample contains aldehyde group or not. So, next we perform Tollens test. Now, Tollens reagent uh, is a solution of uh, ammonium hydroxide and silver nitrate and on mixing the two solutions in equimolar proportion, we get a complex diamine silver plus. So, here the oxidation state of silver is plus 1. Now, this Tollens reagent is a mild oxidizing agent. It oxidizes aldehyde into its corresponding carboxylic acid. So, I take a little quantity of the organic sample and to it I am adding a few drops of this Tollens reagent and then I will heat the reaction mixture in a water bath. Start. Now, we will heat the reaction mixture in a water bath for 5 to 10 minutes to see the change. So, 
to stop. Now you can see students appearance of silver mirror precipitate along the inner wall of the test tube. So, this confirms that our given sample contains aldehyde group. Okay. Now, see the reaction of aldehyde with Tollens reagent. As Tollens reagent is a mild oxidizing agent, we have seen. So, it oxidizes aldehyde into its corresponding carboxylic acid. So, it changes into carboxylate ion, you can see. So, here the oxidation is taking place and see the uh, oxidation state of silver over here is plus 1 and from plus 1 it changes to 0. So, the oxidizing agent is getting reduced. So, metallic silver grey deposits silver mineral due to the formation of metallic silver in the inner wall of the test tube. This confirms the presence of aldehyde group in the given organic sample and this Tollens test is not given by ketones. Okay. Our next test is Fehling's test. Now, Fehling's reagent we take, uh, it is an equimolar mixture of copper sulphate solution with Rochelle salt, sodium potassium tartarate. So, this is my Fehling's solution and I will add a little quantity of Fehling's solution to the sample. and then I will heat it. Start. Now, I am heating the reaction mixture. On heating the reaction mixture continuously, an appearance of reddish brown PPT we will be able to see. Now, see the formation of precipitates has already taken place. This is due to the formation of cupra cyan. Failing solution is an oxidizing agent. Here, copper was in plus 2 oxidation state. So, as it was in plus 2 oxidation state, it oxidizes aldehyde into the corresponding carboxylate, being itself reduced to cupra cyan. For this, we are getting the reddish brown precipitate. So, students, our previous test was Fehling's test, where we could see copper sulphate solution and a mixture of Rochelle salt and copper sulphate solution. Copper sulphate was in plus 2 oxidation state, as it is a mild oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the aldehyde group into the corresponding carboxylate ion, being itself reduced to cupra ion and this was the formation of red precipitate. Our next test is sodium nitroprusside test. Now, this test is applicable only for ketones. Okay. The chemical formula of sodium nitroprusside is Na2FeCn5NO dihydrate. Sodium pentacyano nitrosyl ferrate 2. Here iron is in plus 2 oxidation state. So, here I have got a sample of ketone and to it I will add a few drops of sodium nitroprusside. This is sodium nitroprusside the reagent. And we will make it in alkaline base. Most of the organic reactions takes place in basic medium to see the change in color. So, here you can see instant red coloration comes. This indicates the presence of ketonic group and this is the distinguishing test. Sodium nitroprusside test is the distinguishing test for ketones only. This test is not responded by aldehydes. We do not get the bright red coloration if we take aldehyde and treat it with sodium nitroprusside in place of ketones. So, we will add a little quantity of water to see the appearance of bright red coloration. Now, one important note, both Tollens reagent and Fehling's reagent 
are mild oxidizing agents. That means what? They can oxidize aldehyde group into the corresponding carboxylate ion. But if we compare the oxidizing behavior of tollens with phalanx, tollens reagent is a better oxidizing reagent than that of phalanx. That means it can oxidize aliphatic aldehydes as well as aromatic aldehydes. If we take benzaldehyde in place of acetaldehyde, tollens reagent will respond to this test. But uh, phalanx test will not be given by aromatic aldehydes. So, this is the distinguishing chemical test between aldehydes and ketones. It is very important once we get an unknown organic sample, see this is sample 1 and sample 2. I do not know which sample contains aldehyde group, which sample contains ketonic group. So, once I get, I will be getting only one of the two. So, where once I get only one sample, I have to confirm whether my sample contains the carbonyl group or not. If it contains carbonyl group, then only we shall go for the next chemical test. So, to confirm whether my sample contains carbonyl group, I have to perform the first chemical test that is 2,4 DNP test. This is also known as Bradis reagent. On performing this test, treating it with aldehydes or ketones, we get a orange yellow precipitate. So, this is what this was the precipitate we have got. On treating it with 2,4 DNP with aldehydes and more or less same PPT we will be getting or the coloration orange yellow coloration with ketones. So, both aldehydes and ketones respond to the common test. This is a common test for both aldehydes and ketones.